snow tracks. It was winter time on the island of Sodor. It had snowed all night. The trees were white. The cottages were white. And even Sir Topham Hatt's railway was white. There was not an engine in sight. At Tidmouth Sheds, the engines looked out. Percy was very excited. It snowed! Thomas didn't like the snow. Bother! I'll have to wear my heavy snow plow. I don't like snow. You can get stuck in it. Stuff and nonsense. Snow is soft, but I am strong. It won't bother me. Then Sir Topham had arrived. Gordon, you must take some freight cars to Brendam Docks. They are needed for an important coal delivery. You are a strong engine, but snow is slippery. Puff the long way round. Yes, sir. Thomas, you must deliver bundles of firewood to the stations. Yes, sir. And then Sir Topham had left. Thomas puffed with pride. That's a very special job. Not as important as mine. I shall go straight to the docks. I shall steam over every hill I come to. Gordon pumped his pistons proudly. Puff the long way round. That means, Gordon, don't go up any hills. Hills are not too steep for me. I am strong. I am the best. And Gordon wished out of Pidmouth Sheds. Gordon huffed and he puffed. His smoke was gray against the snowy white countryside. Soon, Gordon came to a hill. This hill isn't too steep for me. I shall steam over it. So, Gordon thundered up the hill. I am special. I am the best. And he chuffed right to the top. That was easy. But Gordon found going down the other side wasn't so easy. The rails were icy. Gordon's wheels slipped and slid. He went faster and faster. Perishing pistons! Spencer was huffing up the hill. The Duke and Duchess of Oxford were on board. They were having tea. Spencer was covered from footplate to fender. Raffle my rods. I'm as dirty as a ditch. Gordon didn't hear as he clickety-clacked on the icy tracks. Gordon came to another hill. It was even bigger. This hill isn't too steep for me. I shall steam over it. So Gordon thundered up the hill. I am special. I am the best. But the tracks were icy. The snow was deep. And the hill was very, very steep. Gordon steamed slower and slower. Bust my boiler. This is hard work. Wheel turn by wheel turn, Gordon huffed and puffed to the top of the hill. He felt very pleased. I am the strongest. I am the best. But at the bottom of the hill, there was deep, deep snow. The snow flew up all over Gordon's face. But the boilers, I can't see. Gordon rattled off the main track and into a siding, straight into the back of some slate cars. Gordon was covered in thick gray dust. Oh, the indignity. At least I can see now. And Gordon huffed on towards the docks. The snow was deeper and deeper and deeper. Gordon could hardly huff through it. This is hard work. Now, Gordon was at the bottom of Gordon's hill. Gordon's hill was the biggest of all. And it was covered in thick, thick snow. 
Gordon's Hill isn't too steep for me. I shall steam over it. I am strong. I am the best. But Gordon didn't feel so strong anymore. And he didn't feel the best. Gordon puffed against the snow. Snow is soft, and I am strong. It won't bother me. But the snow wasn't soft. It had become a giant snowball. It grew bigger and bigger. Gordon started to huff slower and slower. He thought his boiler was going to burst. Oh, my! Just then, Thomas chuffed up behind Gordon. Thank you for clearing the tracks, Gordon. Now I can deliver the firewood faster. Then there was trouble. The giant snowball was too big and too heavy. It started to push Gordon back down the hill. Look out, Thomas! Cinders and ashes! Gordon and his freight cars rolled back faster and faster. Faster and faster. He slipped into a siding. And Gordon rolled round the bend. The giant snowball will surely miss us now. But Gordon was wrong. The giant snowball rolled down the track and crashed and bashed into Thomas. Gordon saw Thomas and his car of firewood lifted high in the air and derailed. Now, it was Thomas who looked like a giant snowball. Luckily, no one was hurt. Gordon felt terrible. I'm not strong, and I'm not the best. It's a disaster. Gordon steamed slowly to Thomas. I'm sorry, Thomas. I'll huff my hardest to help you. pushed and puffed, but the snow was too heavy. The snow was too thick. Gordon could not chuff through it to help his friend. I'm not strong enough, Thomas. I'll find Rocky. He's stronger than me. Gordon found Rocky at Brendam Docks. Hello, Thomas. I'll have you back on the tracks in no time. Soon, Thomas was no longer a snowball. He was a bright blue engine again. Thank you, Rocky. Now I must deliver my firewood. I'm very late. The station masters will be waiting, and they'll be very cold. I'll help you, Thomas. What about your very important job? I delivered my freight cars to the docks. Now I can help you with your very important job. Thomas was happy to have his friends help. Thank you, Gordon. Thomas and Gordon chuffed cheerfully through the snow. And when they came to a hill, they always puffed around it. Together, Thomas and Gordon delivered the firewood to all the stations. The station masters were very pleased to see them. At last, Gordon and Thomas puffed home to Tidmouth Shanks. They were tired, but they were happy to have been really useful. Gordon wished grandly. I have something very important to say. No engine is special, and every engine is best. Thomas and his friends whistled. They all agreed with Gordon.